Like any nine-year-old, when school is out, Tilly Griffiths is all smiles. But Tilly has a genetic disease that means she has never and will never walk. Yeah, I'm a gorgeous. This wheelchair has revolutionised her life, allowing her to stand. At $30,000, her family couldn't afford it, but a children's charity has donated it. To be able to have a powered wheelchair for Tilly was like opening the door to her childhood. Until she had that chair, she used to look on and wonder, and she didn't have any sparkle or joy because she just couldn't participate. The charity provides expensive medical equipment to families in need, and it's hurting in the global recession. The economic downturn has affected the charity in a, in a couple of ways. Um, the first one is that the giving to the charity, the donations to the charity is reduced. Um, everybody's looking at the pound and what they get for it. And um, what we're actually finding is that people are giving less or having a holiday from giving. Charity clothing shops are facing a similar problem. Normally there's no shortage of people donating their unwanted clothes to be sold on. But those donations have dropped. In the UK, 52% of all charities have been affected by the financial downturn. Of those, 58% have experienced a drop in income. And 32% have had to take action by laying off staff, reducing costs or spending cash reserves. I think that one of the long-term consequences of the economic downturn on the charitable sector will be uh, probably fewer charities, but those charities that come out at the other end stronger, more resilient, having reviewed all they do and who they work together with. It's forced charities to think more laterally about how they raise money. Oxfam has just opened three designer charity shops to attract new clientele, and while some charities still hold street collections, many are focusing their efforts on going door to door where they report better results. In the City of London, businesses and banks have been hit hard by the economic downturn. They used to give about $2 billion a year to charity. But in a recent survey of 450 businesses, 60% said they'd cut their donations, resulting in $730 million less for charity. Like the charity that supports her, Tilly faces a difficult future. But through the generosity of others, she's determined to make the most of it. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, London.